Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what are your person's thoughts and feelings of you today. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, um, hold a vision. Um, of your person in your mind's eye and we'll take a look and see at their thoughts of you today oh wow it's too many cards Those of you that are doing long distance with this individual it feels like they do want to um they are thinking about they might have even been doing some researching hopping on the internet researching some things here but they are thinking about coming to see you so if you live live at a distance from one another different country city or state this person has been thinking and is thinking of it's it's definitely crossed their mind more on more than one occasion. They're thinking about coming to see you. They may have been doing some research with flights and tickets, accommodation, a stay. Uh, maybe also doing, I don't know, That I see them researching. I see them trying to figure some things out. Especially if you guys have been, okay, especially if you're at a, some sort of disconnection with this person, okay? If you at a, uh, at a discord or a disconnection with this person, if this is someone that has walked away from you or you've walked away from the connection here, I don't think that you, the both of you have let go of each other energetically or emotionally. The both of you are still attached in some way, shape or form. I do feel like there is something here that has been very troublesome and very turbulent okay there has been some things here that have caused a lot of turbulency in this connection okay so i think it's more than just one thing though given the multitude of swords i think it's more than just one thing that's been troubling the connection or if it is the one thing it's kind of been recycled again and again to the point where the both of you just kind of said to each other or to yourselves that you can't do this anymore um, but I see that this person wants to, they're trying really hard to work on themselves, okay? This is for you. This is someone who feels like they want to better themselves. And this is someone who wants to, from what I can see, they want to improve themselves and improve the situation. And they feel like they need to see you. So they've been thinking about you and they've been thinking about finding ways to get close to you. Even if you don't live at this person, like, even if you don't live, at a distance from this person they still want to find a way to get close because something you did has or something they did it's pushed you away so this is someone who you know currently is going through a bit of emotional turbulency and they want to move in a positive direction with you okay they want to move on from some things they want to resolve some sort of conflict they want to reconcile with you they do care about you. This is someone who thinks about you a lot. Um, they go through... They're going through messages. They're going through your messages they've saved in your phone. They're going through photos here. Some of the... Some, um, some very beautiful pictures that the two of you have taken with one another. In different places. I'm seeing beautiful sceneries here. So I don't know if you guys have traveled a lot or if you've done a lot of sightseeing. Um, there's some very nice photos that the two of you have taken and this person they still feel connected to you even if they don't necessarily share this with you but I see them rereading your old text messages um, rereading your old conversations here with one another and they they definitely still care about you there's photos here that they keep going over and over again I think there's something here that's making them, um, I think there's something here uh, that's making this person do some thinking about your last, 
um, the last conversation with one another or the last things that you've said to with one another this is someone who i feel like because the six of wands is success coming your way in a relationship right and to me it feels like this person is they're not afraid to show you their true colors this person wants to there is something key that they want to say or do that i feel like is going to bring a lot of joy to you and to this connection okay and i do see that there is a lot of intention in their energies to want to move things forward and want in a very positive way and to want to move this connection forward now with the eight of cups if they were the ones to have walked away they may have done this physically but let me tell you emotionally this person is still stuck on you this is someone who's still not um, done with you they haven't released you emotionally they certainly haven't released you energetically as well they want to give i'm hearing the message they want to give this one more try they want to try it one more time um they feel without you they feel a little lost they feel a little lost they feel like they're drifting here with you they had direction with you they felt certain they knew who they were without you this person is caught between not knowing what to do not knowing what to say they're they're a, they're a bit of a losty here without you I'm also seeing that this person is trying to check in with their intuition whether or not they should give the situation one more chance or if they should release you and let you go I feel like this person is tossing between you know either releasing you or giving it one more chance but I do see that this is someone who is wishing to try things one more time okay but this person is trying to manifest you they're trying to manifest you back into their life they're trying to manifest a reconciliation they're trying to manifest um, communication with you as well from what I can see uh, they're also trying to line up their energy with yours so the two of you have kind of drifted from one another and maybe this is why I, I spoke about you being in a long distance long distance relationship with this person you you might be or you might not be but it feels like the two of you have drifted from one another um, because you did not feel happy you did not feel satisfied with maybe the direction the connection was heading in or you know what it had become um, so this person is now wanting to they want to design their life in the direction that is in alignment with who they are they also want you in their life and it feels like this person wants to manifest you back into their life and they want to manifest a reconnection or reconciliation with you they're finding it very difficult to just disconnect from you they're finding it very difficult to just walk away from you they they're finding it extremely difficult this is someone who I'm just, I feel like they're crying they have been crying if not particularly today but I see that they have been crying over you here recently maybe it's because they are looking back at old photos conversations and they're feeling quite nostalgic they're missing you maybe it's because you know their loneliness is, is really heightened and they feel very lonesome without you but they've been quite emotional they do miss you a lot they're trying to disconnect they're trying to detach but it's been a lot more difficult than they would have imagined okay guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing subscribing to the channel bye for now